In this video, we are going to see how to send SMS from MSG91 for new Airtable records. So, if you are using Airtable to manage your spreadsheets and you want that every time a new user has been added, a message and SMS should be shared with the person through MSG91, then you can actually integrate these two applications. Let me show you how. So let us begin with the process. The first thing that we have to do is here we have to type the URL www.pabli.com slash connect. And as we do that, it will take us to the landing page of the software. Here on the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can simply sign in. And if you are a new user, then here you have to click on sign up for free. And trust me, it will not take more than two minutes. We provide 100 free tasks every month in the free account of Pabli Connect. So do not wait, just log in here. Now I'm going to click on sign in. Why? Because I'm an existing user. Now it has taken us to the All Apps page. Here we are doing this integration using Pabli Connect software. So I'm going to click on access now. And now it has taken me to the dashboard. Here on the right hand side, you can see a blue tab where it is written create workflow. So we are going to click on this. And now this dialog box is asking us to name our workflow. So what is our objective here? Our objective is to send SMS in MSG91 for new Airtable records. So here I'm going to name my workflow as Airtable to MSG91 integration. And now let's click on create. Now here a new window has opened where you can see two very important events. One is trigger and another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger means when this happens and action means do this. Basically trigger is the happening of some event and action is its response. So the first application that we are supposed to choose here is Airtable and then we are going to click on this. Now we have to select the trigger event. Trigger event means basically what would happen so that this trigger runs. So here we are going to click on new record. So every time there's a new record, then only this trigger would run. Let's click on connect. And now here we are going to click on add new connection because Pabli Connect is asking to connect it with Airtable account. So now if you will come down here, you can see new connection name. Basically for this connection, we need a token. And now for this token, I'm going to take you to my Airtable account. And here, this is the profile icon. Let's click on this and we'll go to account. And now here we'll scroll down and here you can see the API key. So I'm going to copy this going back to my public connect account here. And I'm going to paste this. Now let's click on save to establish the connection between Pabli Connect and Airtable account. Now you can see that it is all connected. Here in Airtable, we have got different bases. So here I'm going to have a quick look at our Airtable account and show you exactly what a base is. So these are the recent bases. It's just like any other spreadsheet. And as we scroll down, you can see this icon add a base you can click on this and then create your own base now i already have created a base here this is demo base let's click on this see i have named this file as demo base and then the name of this particular page is team details here i've got four categories name surname phone number and designation and then i've filled in the details going back to public connect so here i'm going to quickly select the base my base is demo base so let's click on this and now since there is only one table so automatically it has captured the name of the table now this trigger field is very important so let's read the instructions create a field in your table schema with field name created and field type created time so basically what is it asking you to do i'm going to take you back now after all the fields here we are going to add a field and uh, the field type is created time so we have to click on this let's click on create field so here you can see that automatically the time has come basically every time a new data would be entered here on the sheet the time of creation would also be captured 
Now let me take you back to Pabli Connect and here you can see that the trigger field has been captured as created. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. As soon as we have done that, here you can see that the created time, so name, so row wise the information has been captured. Now what do we want? Our objective is every time a new field has been added on this Airtable account, so we should receive a SMS, instant message through MSG91. So now I'm going to click on this action step and choose my application as MSG91 and the action event would be selected as send campaign. Let's click on connect. And now here again, we are going to click on add new connection. Why? Because Pavli Connect is here asking us to connect itself with MSG91 account. And to set up this connection here, we need this API key. For this API key, you have to first log in into your MSG91 account. Once you have logged in, then we have to go to the SMS section. So I'm going to take you to my MSG91 account here. We'll go to this SMS section. Let's click on this. And now here you can see the auth key. So we are going to click on this auth key and now let me fill in the data. Let's click on next and then we have to fill in the OTP. So let's fill in this information. Now click on verify and here we have received the key. So I'm going to copy this, go back to Pabli Connect and paste it here. Now click on save. So here you can see that uh, this Pabli Connect and MSG91, these two applications have not now got connected. Also, here you can see this slug. What is this slug? So basically on MSG, you have to create campaigns. So here, this is the name of my campaign. I'm going to quickly take you to my MSG page here. So let's click on this. And here you can see campaign. So let's click here. And now these are the two campaigns that I've created. And as of now, I want these SMS to be shared through this Pavli Connect campaign. So you can here create your own campaign by clicking on this new campaign tab. Now going back to Pavli Connect, here see there was only like this slug has already been uh, accepted. Now two mobile numbers. So basically here this mobile number that I'm going to enter has to have the country code and also remember that we are not supposed to put the plus sign. And now this is the mobile number. So let's click on this and enter the mobile number. Done to name. So let's say I'm sending it to Pabli Connect. And now as I come down here, you can see three very important fields. So this will be the data that we have captured through Airtable. So I'm going to map this down now. Mapping means the already existing that data that we have captured in the previous steps, we are going to map it. We are going to take it from there. So here, the first thing is name. So for this, I'm going to take this. The username is going to be same. So let's take this again and now the mobile number. So let's quickly enter the mobile number. So this is the information that will be shared on my message. Now let's click on save and send test request. So here we have received the API response that says that your request has been queued successfully. And now I have also received a message on my phone. And uh, here this is the screenshot of the same. Hello, dummy, sign up into your account with username dummy mobile number is this team MSG91. Now remember, this is a template that we have created. You can create the template as per your wish. So this is a template which is already available with us and that's why our message is this. I hope this is very much clear to you. This was a very easy integration where we had taken only two steps. Now let's do it real time. So I'm going to go back to a table demo base. Now here I'm going to create another user. Let's say the name is testing one, two, three. Then uh, the surname is name one, two, three. Then we have the phone number is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay, and what is the designation? The designation is, let's say he is a software engineer. Okay, and now you can see even the created time is there. As soon as we are done with filling this data, what should happen? A message should be shared and uh, these are the details sh that should be shared with the admin. So now I'm going to check, quickly check my phone and see if we have received the message. Also, you have to remember one thing. If I take you back to my Pabli Connect page and I scroll up. So here you can see every 10 minutes, if we'll 
go here it is written this trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes which means that this trigger has a polling time of 10 minutes so if your data doesn't appear like if the message is not shared with you in let's say one or two minutes do not worry so wait for 10 to 15 minutes and the message will definitely appear now as i'm explaining you this i have received the message and here is the message the screenshot Hello testing one two three sign up into your account with username this 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 so this is the template I have told you that this is just a regular template that we have used you can design your own template now I hope this is very much clear to you this was a very simple integration where we had used only two applications Airtable and MSG91 and we had integrated them using Pabli Connect software so here the first step you have to use your trigger trigger application as Airtable and the event would be new record and in the second process integration process you have to use your action as MSG91 the application would be MSG91 and the event would be sent campaign which is used for sending SMS if in case you have got any doubt then you can use the workflow which is given in the description box as your reference and you can even clone the same you know and process automatically in case of any advice or if you have got any suggestions then you can always write to us